Today's video is another installment of iOS developer website slash portfolio review. I got a whole playlist of these on my channel. Basically, I pull up these sites, critique them a bit, give them some tips, but it's also for you, the viewer, to get ideas and inspiration uh, for your own portfolio or website. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is a great way to get that portfolio or, or app landing page up and running very quickly. So head over to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get started. All right, first up, we have a website for an app called Punked by Gregor Pischler. And I wanted to showcase this one first because I think this does an amazing job with their hero section of their website, right? The hero is like the top section, uh, right? Your life, your stories, one sentence uh, a day to learn about yourself, reflect on emotions, weaknesses, you know, driving, basically a real short blurb telling you what the app does and then a picture showing me what it does. So the reason I think this is so amazing is it's incredibly efficient, right? I can look at this for five seconds and know what the app does. Okay, cool. It's a daily sentence shared with a picture and you use a good picture here showing like the birth of, of a child, right? The birth of our daughter Joyce was the most beautiful day in our life. So again, instantly, I know what the app is, I know what it does, and I can see an example of it. That is very efficient. And, and I know I'm like gushing over this is because a lot of people just waste this hero image. And I would bet, like I, I can't like see the heat map of your website, but I would bet a lot of people hit the download on the app store without even scrolling down to see more. That's how good this is. Like I would love to see the heat map. Uh, but anyway, your goal with these websites is to get the download. And I feel like this does an amazing job, but let's keep scrolling. First off, I, I'm a huge fan of this aesthetic, right? It's black and white, which is a splash of color, which you'll see as we go through here. Um, so big fan of this website, but I will start nitpicking, but I just wanted to put that out there. Big fan, I thought this was a great one. So uh, I like these three cards talking about the, the privacy, uh, start journaling in 2021. It's kind of like a new year's resolution, detailed insights about your life. However, I think this is kind of sloppy. Um, it's a little bit too much words. And uh, like, I think this one's great. Headline, short little blurb. I think this is like too much. Again, I'm nitpicking. Um, but yeah, again, more of the aesthetic, the black and white with the splash of color, journaling as easy it gets. I like that you're highlighting how easy it is and I can see it on the screen. Again, tell me and show me. Great. Um, scrolling down, browse through your stories. One little nitpick again is I would show a different picture, right? Because you, you covered, basically anyone that's ever had a child is immediately gonna resonate with this. So you covered that section of the population. However, I wouldn't reuse the same picture down here. I would maybe show something, I don't know, a job promotion or a new job, something for you know the population that doesn't have children so they can resonate with that. Um, that way you're kind of covering a lot of the market. Uh, the final thing I wanna point out, because again, I, just, I would use this as an example uh, if you're trying to figure out how to build a website for your app, I think this is a great example. Again, I'm nitpicking. But one thing I think you should put up towards the top is, you know, 17 reasons why you should start journaling now, you know, reduce blood pressure, whatever. You're basically giving people a reason to journal. However, this feels almost like the footer of the website, right? It's like a different smaller font. You know, you got these like emojis that kind of look like, you know, made with love in California, what you see on the bottom of websites a lot. I would put this little or, or some blurb about why you should journal and the benefits of it, maybe up towards the top, right? If we start from the top, bam, great hero. You give me the privacy stuff. You tell me it's easy. And then maybe like right here in between these two, I would talk about the benefits of journaling uh, and then continue on with more benefits of the app. I think this is a really important piece and I feel like it's kind of buried at the bottom. But again, I'm nitpicking, Gregor. I think this is an awesome website. Again, the hero image, I think is like a textbook example of a great hero, I said hero image, hero section. Um, just a great way to use this efficiently and get your point across very quickly. Good stuff. Next up, we have a website for the app Half Lemons by Theo Goodman. And again, compare and contrast. R real quick, I do like this website as well, except for the use of the hero section. But I talked about that so much last time that you can see, you know, compare and contrast the difference, right? So I just get a picture of a yellow refrigerator. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool Instagram-y picture, but compare that to Punked where, bam, I know what the app does in one sentence and I can see it right away. Like just compare and contrast the effectiveness of this hero section. You got this compared to this. Uh, I, I just don't know what the app does yet. I mean, recipes with the ingredients that you already have, but that's cool. But I, I think you should show off the app here, not a random yellow refrigerator. Um, but overall, like I said, Theo, I, I'm a fan of this website, except I wish you would use the hero section more efficiently. Because as you scroll down, now I get, you know, Half Lemons is an app for everyday cooking that serves up recipes uh, only using the ingredients you have in your home. Tells you how that works. Now's where I get to see the app in action and read about it. But I'm, I've scrolled down a bit. But overall, I like the look, I like the minimalism, uh, very clear pictures, I'm, I'm a fan of that. And then again, this is a more robust website when it comes to the app. I can learn a ton about the app and the people behind it. 
Uh, again, my, my main gripe is just the uh, use of the hero sections, which again, you'll see here. Beautiful picture, makes me hungry. Uh, I just wish we could kind of like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, just, I just think it's wasteful almost. May, eh, I'm gonna contradict myself. Maybe not in this type of app because again, it makes me hungry, makes me think about food or maybe like aesthetic is a big part of your brand. That would be another reason to, to go that route. But uh, you know, I just feel like those are kind of wasteful, if you will. Like I kind of want to get to the information because these pictures you have here are still beautiful pictures of, of the food as well. So I think you can still get away with having a good aesthetic with also getting us right to the point. Um, and again, I won't go to all of these, but I do wanna uh, talk about the about section. This is actually, I think, a good use of having a picture because again, I, I'm a big fan of talking about who you are as a developer because oftentimes so many people think it's this big corporation behind an indie app and they don't realize it's like one or two people and you know trying to keep their head above water, right? We, we know what it's like as indie app uh, developers. But you know, here's Theo and Julie and you can read about their story, why they created this. Again, I think this is great stuff to share. Um, so again, a little contradictory. I think this is actually a good use of the hero, showing a picture of yourself. I think that's great. However, in the other ones, uh, I feel like, you know, we could we could get to the to the information a, a lot quicker. But overall, I love how robust this uh, website is for, for an app. You know, I can learn so much. I can read your blog and all that stuff. Uh, again, the main gripe uh, is just the inefficient use, especially on the home screen um, of this. Again, back to punked real quick here. Eh. I gotta scroll down, but that's my only gripe. Theo, overall, I think it's a really good website. Moving on, we have a website for Instant Date, an app by an iOS developer uh, named Chitty. And, and again, you see the, the use of the hero. I won't harp on it too much because I feel like I've, that's all I've talked about. Um, so let's scroll down. Cause I do like, I like the big and boldness aesthetic you have going here, right? Big, bold text uh, with some negative white space. Bold colors, very simple. Search dates, send invite with pictures. I like how bold in your face this is and it's very simple, neat and clean. Uh, again, continuing on with that, telling me more uh, about it, good stuff. One small nitpicky thing, and this is just in websites in general, and maybe it's because I'm a developer, but when I see things like this, like I, I don't think you intended on having a big blank white square down here, <laughs> you know? Um, that makes me question how, how good the, the product actually is when it comes to like engineering and how it's built. And again, this is my crazy software engineer brain nitpicking, but if I see simple things wrong with the website, it does make me question um, the product. And, and I know many of you are probably thinking, oh, who cares? He has an extra div down here. It takes two seconds to delete. I get that. Um, but just be careful when presenting your website on your app that even small little mistakes like that reflect poorly on the actual product, whether it's true or not, you know, some people may judge that. Um, but again, I like that this is more than just a landing page. Uh, the reason I wanted to point out this app is for the tutorial section. Um, again, probably not the most efficient use of your hero section, um, but I, I like this tutorial section and I think it's a good example of what people could do for their apps. Um, so it tells you basically uh, how to use the app here. I never thought I'd say this, but this is too much white space and negative space, whatever you want to call it. Um, way too too spaced out. But I do like the content here, right? You give them, and again, maybe these words are probably too cramped, uh, the line spacing. But I like how you give like one or two sentences in a picture to show how the, to use the app. Bam, one or two sentence picture, show how to use the app. Again, it's just spaced out way too much. Um, but a quick note on tutorials for your app. Like if you can do it like this, like one line picture, one line picture to show how to use the app, that's fine, great. If you're having to write a whole blog post or a research paper to tell people how to use your app, that might be a, a sign of a deeper problem there. But again, if you can do your tutorial pretty quick and easy like this, again, remove the white space and, and compress this a little bit. Um, that's why I wanted to showcase this one. I wanted to showcase this tutorial section because I think it's a good idea uh, to use for your app. Again, just the layout um, could be a bit different. So. Uh, see, if, I think that was it for this one. Um, yeah, contact us, terms of service, yeah, whatever. So uh, again, Chitty, I think you're you're onto something here. Uh, again, if this is your brand, your aesthetic, you wanna go for this, great. I think you just could be more efficient with this. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I like it. And I wanted to showcase this one for the inspiration for the tutorial section that hopefully some of you can take this idea and incorporate into your website. Uh, just don't use this much negative space. Before we move on to the final website, which is a personal portfolio, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, if you're getting a lot of ideas from seeing these app websites or portfolios and you wanna start building your own, like think about it real quick. I understand we're software engineers and it's very tempting to build your own, but it takes a lot to build and maintain uh, a website, right? You gotta worry about all the different screen sizes, right? iPad, iPhone, big giant iMac screens, right? That's kind of a pain. And then also different browsers have different compatibilities for like fonts and stuff. 
it's actually a headache to build and maintain your own website. So that's why I recommend using Squarespace to build yours. You know, we're app developers. We want to be building apps. We don't want to be spending our time uh, with websites. And, and Squarespace takes care of so much for you. All the SEO analytics, they have tons of beautiful themes so you don't have to come up with your own design. Just It, it just takes so much off your plate. So when you're ready to get started on your website, go to squarespace.com to get started today. And when you want to actually launch it, go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, our final website of the video, we have Salman Ahmed here, mobile apps engineer, uh, currently working at Hypercare, featured as one of the best UOT startups. Um, I don't know what UOT is. I feel like I'm pretty in the know when it comes to this stuff. Like I've heard of IOT, internet of things. I don't know what UOT is. So I guess that's my point. I'm sure plenty of you out there are gonna be like, oh, it's this, it's obvious. Um, I would spell this out just because maybe not everybody's going to know what that is. Um, but overall, the hero, uh, I, again, I'm a fan of making this smaller and not taking up the whole screen, but I've harped on that too much. So let's scroll down. Um, I don't really know what this is. One, I don't like that it moves with my mouse even when I'm not dragging. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> that annoys me. Um, but let's get on to, to the me here. So you're about me section. Uh, see, oh, I got to scroll down to get that out of there. Um, so this is like way too long horizontally. I can't remember the exact number that's like recommended. I think it's like 600 to 800 pixels wide that your text should be. Cause like, look, like I gotta like turn my head from left to right to like read this, right? And I understand like it gets smaller if you're on like a phone or something like that, but you know, not everybody's on a phone. So reduce that, that just, it's easier to read. Another thing is I, I think you need to chill out on the emoji. <laughs> I mean, you have four here in the middle of one sentence. Um, I would just go easy. It's it's fine to have one emoji at the end of a sentence as like a emphasis, but I think that's a, a, a bit much. I think you should combine this skill set and about me because they're like very similar. Um, I don't know, I just feel like they're, they're redundant. So I would find a way to combine this, but not just copy and paste this up here because that would be way too long of a blurb. Trim it down and combine that. Uh, I feel like those are like the same thing. And then here, we're, it's just getting too wordy between about me, skill set, and all this stuff. So I would uh, use some iconography, like maybe the Apple icon or the Android icon, the Flutter icon. I don't know what you'd use for backend icon, but uh, figure something out. <laughs> but you know, break this up with some iconography, just a little bit of imagery. Again, a little nitpicky thing. Uh, I don't know if you should be centering aligning these texts. I would left align these so you get nice, neat, vertical uh, lines. I think that's just more pleasing to the eye rather than these like jagged uh, lines here. Uh, and again, uh, so now I'm being like formatting picky, but uh, now let's get to the content. I would just be more specific, right? You say currently doing hands-on native iOS development, learning new things every day. So for iOS, you just say, I'm doing iOS development. <laughs> it's pretty broad, pretty vague, right? I, I know from reading your website, you're the, you're the iOS lead at uh, Hypercare. So like, you know, say, what are you doing at Hypercare in the iOS? Like be more specific. And that goes for all these other ones too. You're you're just overall very vague on that, right? For Flutter, was curious enough about Google backend hybrid platform, created a few projects and a couple libraries. A few projects and a couple libraries. That's so vague. I don't know if those are very in-depth projects or if they're just like to-do app tutorials, right? That's a big difference. So just be more specific uh, in this. And again, I'm not saying write a book, definitely keep it short, but just you're, you're, you're too vague here. You're not really telling the reader anything. Like I do native iOS development. <laughs> Help me out here, <laughs> be a little more specific. Uh, and then on to hear your experience. Okay, I, I like the, the look of this, the aesthetic. It is a little cramped for my taste, but I, I don't. I think the whole point of this was to kind of be jumbled together. I think that's the, the look they were going for, uh, whoever designed this. Um, and, I, and I like that you're showing the pictures of the apps and you're giving me a little blurb. I like that. Uh, however, I can't click in to learn more. Like I'm clicking on these. I don't know if you can hear the click. Like I can't, so this is all I get, even though it looks like I can click it. Um, so that's confusing. And again, back to like, little things on your website not working like this. Like if I'm looking to hire you as an engineer to help build my stuff and I'm seeing like little stuff like this not working on your website, it's just not a good look or not a good first impression. Uh, so uh, just again, that's how I think about it anyway. One little nitpick too is like these little kind of lists, like improved user retention, set scalable coding standards, like lists that are comma separated that are like horizontal are pretty hard to read. So I would like bullet point list this because, you know, skimming through bullet points is a lot easier than these like comma separated uh, lists. But overall, I like the look at it of it. I wish I could dig deeper. Um, like I have no idea what Global Rescue does. I have no idea what Hypercare does. Um, so yeah, just let people dig in to, to learn more. Maybe the website's not done. Maybe you got plans for that, but uh, it's just what I think right now. And again, when I see this, it feels almost broken to me and it's not a good look for like a, me trying to hire you as a software engineer. 
And then the final piece, contribution to community. Um, I, I think this is a great thing to share, like kind of the libraries you're working on and like what you're doing. However, I, this parallax thing, like I think you're getting, you're getting too cute. You're getting cute for cute's sake, right? Because look, it's cutting off like the right half of the screen. I can't, I mean, yeah, I guess I can kind of see it, but it's, I don't know, and I gotta scroll up and down to like read it and I can't like pan around. So what I would do, instead of having this cute parallax thing, which is just, it's actually negative user experience, not a positive user experience, um, is I would, you know, here's your GitHub, you know, do command shift four or whatever for the screenshot, like screenshot this roughly section or, or whatever. Uh, and then basically still have this like window outline. I like that, like the little Mac window thing and just have the static image. That way I can see this, which is like an overview of your work. I don't know if you wanna put your GitHub contributions, whatever, but this is a much better overview of your work, seeing this whole thing rather than this panning parallax thing. So again, I just think, I just think you got cute for the sake of getting cute and it's not a good like user experience to learn more about you. Um, but overall, I think you, you have the beginnings of a pretty cool site. Um, again, let me, let me learn more about you and then clean up this part here. Uh, and I think you're, you're definitely, and then <laughs> I don't like this at all, um, but that's just my personal thing. But overall, uh, Solomon, I think you're onto something. You're at the beginnings, um, just tighten it up a little bit. And I think you'll have a really good site. All right. That wraps up the latest episode of iOS developer website reviews. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.